Okay, so last video I was talking about um, William Herschel, who uh, was the first person, happened to have been an astronomer, who actually uh, discovered the planet Uranus. Uh, anyhow, um, well, here's, here's how Herschel discovered the infrared region of the, the electromagnetic spectrum. So that, that's what this entire thing is called, right? Um, gamma rays have the highest frequency, radio waves have the lowest frequency. Gamma rays have the highest energy, radio waves have the lowest energy. Of course, gamma rays have the shortest wavelength, right, because there was, you know, the reciprocal relation between frequency and wavelength, and of course, radio has the longest wavelength. All right, so anyhow, let's get back to the Her Herschel. Um, what he, he did is he took, you know, exactly th th this kind of situation where the light was, uh, he used sunlight, uh, passed through um, a prism, and of course it broke the uh, light into all the colors of the rainbow. And um, uh, what he did is he took a thermometer, and uh, he looked at the, the thermometer in these different colors, and he noticed as he got closer and closer to the red light, the thermometer uh, increased. And what he did next was uh, either an accident or on purpose, we really don't know, but I just want to mention this now, that a lot of scientific discoveries, uh, like the one he made, um, s sometimes are just by accident. You, you weren't really looking for something, and yet you make this profound discovery. Um, so, so what he did is um, either, like I said, either by accident or on purpose, we, we really don't know, uh, he moved the, or the, the, uh, the, the thermometer went uh, beyond what you could see in the, um, as the, ed, the end of the red light. And so he moved the thermometer a little over here into what is now called the infrared region. So, so that, you know, you, the human eye cannot see that. And yet the temperature went up even higher than uh, the temperature did for, for the red. So the thermometer was much, much hotter or much higher um, for, for the infrared. And, um, and so, so he was the first one to detect um, part of the electromagnetic spectrum outside of the visible. Uh, later on, of course, we discovered radio waves, uh, we discovered ultraviolet, uh, x-rays, of course, and then uh, gamma rays as well. So that's this entire thing is called the electromagnetic spectrum. All different forms are considered forms of light. Traditionally, what when we talk about light, though, we're, we're traditionally talking about the visible part of the spectrum. But astronomers are very um, specific about it. If we're talking about, you know, the light that that hits a telescope, um, it depends on what you know. We, we usually talk about the visible light uh, that is being received by a telescope, or if the telescope is is operating in the infrared, or there are telescopes that are operate in the radio region of the spectrum. All right. Uh, yeah, there's, in, in fact, j just to mention this um, a little bit, uh, there's, a, there's a really big uh, radio telescope, not the biggest in the world, but there's a really big one up in West Virginia, um, a very, very well-known um, radio, well, there's actually multiple radio telescopes up there um, in West Virginia, and uh, yeah, anyhow. It's a beautiful part of the country, by the way, if you've never been up there. Um, all right, so let's uh, keep moving. All right, so, so um, you know, with water waves, of course, the, the, the thing that is oscillating back and forth, the thing w which is, w w that is causing the, the, uh, the wave to move up, or is, you know, the wave to go, go up and down, uh, is what we call the medium. Of course, for water waves, it's, it's water. Um, for sound waves, it, it's actually the air. The air is compressed and then stretched, compressed and stretched. That's, that's how sound travels. So the, that's the medium. Um, well, that, that's if you're talking about sound. It actually gets more complicated than that. Uh, the sound through air, um, the medium would be the air. Of course, sound could travel if you've ever, you know, ducked your head in, in, into a pool, uh, or something, uh, you know, you notice that sound also travels through water as well. So in that particular case, the sound, uh, the sound waves are, um, 
our, our water, and of course sound also travels through solid material. But for electromagnetic waves, right, this entire thing, this entire electromagnetic spectrum, um, but by the way, the entire thing, I guess I should say this before um, I'm backing up just a little bit, all forms of electromagnetic radiation, from gamma rays to radio, all of it travels exactly at the speed of light, right? Uh, which, which is given this symbol C. It's such an it's such an important symbol in science. It's given the symbol C. So the speed of light is is three times ten to the eighth meters per second. That's been measured very very accurately and. Uh, all right, so, so, so with, with as far as electromagnetic waves go, um, they can actually travel through space, so they don't, and they, they don't require a medium. Um, it, but basically what's happening is there's an electric field um, that, that is oscillating and perpendicular to that. There's a magnetic field, and the, and the, the two fields basically reinforce each other. They, they self-propagate, um, so there's actually no medium that is created. Um, so how how do you form electromagnetic waves? Where where did this where does this come from? And so um, we we learned um, actually more than a hundred and about one hundred and fifty years ago that uh, it's actually charged particles that are accelerating. So if you accelerate a charged particle, not 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 just a just you don't just move a charged particle like it, usually it's electrons. To be quite honest with you, but uh, any you know, also protons work. Any any charged particle would 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 do the same thing. But uh, if it's it's usually like I said, it's usually electrons, and um, it's not just moving along at a constant velocity. It's accelerating, so the the velocity is changing over time. All right, so um, that that's that that will cause elect electromagnetic radiation. All right, and of course, you know the the faster, the the, the greater the acceleration, um, the 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 uh, the higher the energy. So so really, the the, the highest, um, the highest accelerations are in the gamma region, and the the lowest one, and the lowest ones are radio. In fact, you know humans, uh, in a guy named Hertz, who who the you know frequent the the units of frequency are named after. Um, so that there's the symbol right there, uh, capital H, lowercase Z. So all frequencies we, we talk about in Hertz. So like the, for for red light, it would be four point three times ten to the four ten to the fourteenth Hertz. For for blue light, it would be seven point five times ten to the fourteenth Hertz. Um, for radio waves. Um, it, you know, like if you dial up, you know, on your FM dial 101 point, what, you know, point two or something like that on, of a radio station, that's, uh, that's 101.2 megahertz, millions of hertz. All right, so anyhow, um, that is, uh, that, that is the, um, the electromagnetic spectrum and all of it travels at the speed of light, um, all right, and so and that and this is of course is the cause is 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 accelerated charged particles. All right. Uh, oh, and the the other thing I was going to say is is um, you, you know humans b b because th this this of course requires the lowest the smallest acceleration the radio region requires um, the charge to move um, in the smallest uh, or the the, the uh, you know, the, the smallest accelerations, the tiniest accelerations. Um, this was actually created uh, by humans first, but by, in fact, Hertz. Hertz was a, was a scientist um, who lived uh, a, w well over 100 years ago, and uh, he actually created the first uh, artificial radio waves. You know, human created, uh, using electronics, um, he created radio waves. Okay, so so that was the very first one, and then you know he developed a system of of receiving them, and uh, of course uh, later on people figured out how to modulate, that is, put information on radio, and uh, you know the rest is history, right? Um, that that's humans have been uh, communicating uh, ever since. You know, not not just by radio. Then later on we figured out how to put information on. Um, on uh, you know a, a radio signal and and we call it televisions right so so uh, uh, 
um, so that's video information. And, and of course, nowadays, um, we're not even using uh, radio anymore. We're actually using uh, vis visible light, but it's in the, f in the form of, um, of, of la laser light. Uh, so we, mo we modulate that. Um, and that, that's, that's really what fiber optics is all about, if you ever heard about fiber optics. Um, anyhow, we, we, let's keep moving here. I, I got a little, a little distracted. So, so here's a nice picture that I mentioned before. This is, it's, it's better to actually look at it. So um, here, here we have the, the electric field is shown in red, and, and in the magnetic field is shown in, in blue here. And so they, they are perpendicular to each other. The, the mathematics of this is actually pretty involved. Um, but we're just we're just looking at the pictures, um, and so so the, these the, the two it's a three dimensional um, uh, a phenomena, right? Electromagnetic radiation uh, exists in three dimensions. So um, the the electric field is oscillating in in one dimension. The magnetic field is perpendicular to that, and then the whole thing moves um, in in you know in the direction. Of uh, in the direction that's perpendicular to the, these two waves, and and it moves, of course, at the speed of light. All right, so there's there's the speed of light. Um, th they're showing it in kilometers per second. The the usual thing that we use in in astronomy and physics is three times ten to the eighth meters per second. So that's the speed, and this is universal. This is a universal value. Um, everywhere in the universe, ever since the beginning of time, this is the speed that light travels. Okay, so, uh, and and the the reason we know that, of course, is we we have their photons uh, that we've actually picked up uh, that 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 are you know the universe is is thirteen point eight billion years old. Um, we we actually get photons from um, oh about about. Uh, just under 300,000 years after the Big Bang, um, those, those photons are, are still traveling um, to, to, you know, today, and they're traveling exactly at this speed. All right, it, it is a very, it is of course a very large speed. It, it is the highest speed in the universe, um, but uh, um, you know, all forms of electromagnetic radiation travel at that speed. All right, so um, so this is this is of course the thing the, you know the thing that we call the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, what what they're showing what they're showing here is you know for astronomy purposes we're interested in what can pass through the atmosphere, um, and and in fact this is actually a, a really important thing is that uh, you know in the uh, the the visible the visible part of the spectrum can pass. Almost, almost completely through the atmosphere. Um, radio waves usually pass through the atmosphere, but uh, for example, um, above the visible light, like like uh, infrared. Uh, I'm sorry, ultraviolet. Um, most of the ultraviolet gets blocked by the atmosphere. In fact, it gets blocked by the ozone in the atmosphere, um, which you know turns out to be good for life, uh, but. Uh, the, a, a good portion of the of the um, of infrared will get blocked by the atmosphere, um, and uh, so uh, you know above above go, going the other way again uh, above ultraviolet X rays and gamma rays get blocked by the atmosphere. So so the the reason that we point this out, and as far as astronomy goes, if I wanted to explore. Um, Space, or you know, the the signals from space, um, in the in the X-ray region, I would have to, you, you would have to, humanity has to send a spacecraft, and of course we have, we've sent spacecraft um, into orbit to to explore these other regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. All right, um, let's see. So. Um, so here, here is an example of the wave nature of light. All right, so, so this is, this is um, what y humans figured out um, before the, before the in invention of, or the discovery of quantum mechanics is, um, and of course, even with quantum mechanics, this is still true, 
uh, light is both a wave and a particle at the same time. So, so, so this, this were some experiments that were ta taking place about 200 years ago um, that l waves, not, not just light waves, but waves uh, passing through a narrow opening uh, will actually